Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the one each draw away with Aberdeen today in the Scottish Cup quarter final. Not a lot of positives we can take out of that one to be honest. I think the only positive you can take out of that is the fact that we're still in the Cup. Uh, forces it into a replay on the 12th of March and the players really can't complain about any fixture uh, backlog or uh, the amount of fixtures we've got when we play like that, especially in the first half. It wasn't really good enough all round. Certainly in the set first half we were abysmal. We never turned up. Second half, certainly better. However, Aberdeen probably still got the better of the chances in the second half, so go figure that one out. Um, but the first half, anyway, was... Largely a scrappy game from from both teams, but all round from from us it was was diabolical. We just did not turn up. We didn't get started at all. Aberdeen, granted, were not giving us really any time on the ball, and they were pressing us quite well. Uh, Jack was having an absolute shocking performance. He wasn't the only one, to be honest. There was a few other people as well. You know, Goldson gave away the penalty. I'll get into that in a second. But you know, he, he can't track a man, and he has been he's been found out time and time again with this kind of play is you know you play a long ball up he just can't deal with it he doesn't pick up his men half the time but then in the second half counter that with he was actually quite good when when Aberdeen came forward so you know he's slack at defending on occasion and for being a defender and you need to have that concentration 100% of the time you can't get away with it 50% of the time you need to be on the ball all the time um not a great deal of clear cut chances for Aberdeen even though you know quite clearly they were the better team they showed the more hunger they scored from the penalty given given away on the 8th minute when there was a quick break from Aberdeen Goldson clips Gary Mackay Stephen in the box don't you think even think he knew he was there which you know, you could argue, well, it was an accident, but he still brought the guy down and it was really, really poor given the fact that he was the next in line to, to get the ball and he didn't even know he was there. Uh, it was really, really poor. It was a slight delay. I think they were dealing with Mackay Stephen being injured from that. The Aberdeen player taking the penalty. McGregor did get a good hand to it, but the shot was too powerful and it uh, went through him and uh, into the back of the net. So it never fired us up at all, which it really should have, but we, we never really got going at all. And, you know, it's, it's something that time and time again, we go a goal behind and we allow that to affect us. And it's, it's not good enough. I don't know why the, the team do it. There's more than enough capability. You know, it should work as, as a catalyst to... To, to play better, but it just does the opposite to this team for some reason, especially in away games. Uh, certainly at that point, you know, going into the, the, the second half, the best we could have hoped for, I think, at that point was, you know, getting the, getting the equaliser and getting back to the Ibrox, getting, taking the replay, and I think I would have been quite happy with that, and that's largely what happened. Um, we, we, we certainly started off a lot better in the second half and straight away we got the, the goal in the 47th minute there was a corner in from the left Morel has done enough to put the defender off in the middle of the box and Worrell was uh, the, hanging about the back post he had jumped up and on as he was coming down he managed to volley the ball into the bottom right hand corner so it was a great goal from him he largely improved in the second half he was, was pretty solid and he got the, the man of the match um, from the Rangers TV point of view but we thought we would have kicked on after that and yeah we did play a lot better some of our passing was a lot more crisper there was a lot more fluidity to, to the play however just nothing clear cut and you know we had a few chances and and we were ruled offside quite correctly we were just offside each time and we just never we never got the chances and unfortunately Aberdeen did they had a few chances that were cleared off the line in quick succession you know there was one flurry where there was um, a chance that was cleared off the line by Worrell the rebound came out to the Aberdeen player it was struck it hit off the play it hit off the, the initial player who had the shot and cleared off the line and came back out and then the Aberdeen had it. They were getting the break of the ball all the time and we weren't. But as I've said before, you need to make that lock and get the breaks of the ball. Aberdeen had another flurry like that as well where there was another two cleared off the line. Um, one thing I do want to say though, and it happened fairly early on in the 14th minute, Morelos was given a yellow card for diving in the box. Complete stupidity once again from the Colombian. He just doesn't learn. And this is where he's a liability because I think that's what affected his game. For the rest of the game after that, he knew he was on a tightrope. And to be honest, 
there was nothing major that he, he, he there was no major fouls he committed throughout the, uh, for the game but there was a lot of niggly ones and that's when it racks up and he potentially was maybe lucky to stay on the field today and I'm absolutely amazed that he never came off um, at, at half time at least if he never came off at half time it should have been certainly later on in the game because it affected his game and that affected our output as well there was a chance where he was clearly getting held started off outside the box went into the box getting held and and if he had went down, that would have been a clear-cut penalty. Nobody could have argued that. But he never went down for the fact that, well, he was maybe thinking in the back of his mind, well, I'm going to get booked again. So he needs to pick and choose when he goes down. And yes, he is very cute when he goes down sometimes. And he's won us a few penalties that way. However, you can't go down when there's nobody holding you. And that's what's stupid about it. He just does not learn. And this is where he's a liability. But on the flip side of that, this is where the management should have stepped in today and really seen that because it was clear, for, I think, for everybody to see that he was holding us back today. Yes, he's, he does some great off-the-ball work, but you know he's caught offside. He's largely ineffectual because he can't play his normal game because he's walking that tightly up because of his own stupidity. So the management should have seen this long before and for no subs to be made by the management today it was, it was absolutely a joke. It was crying out for something, especially if, if it wasn't Morelos that was needing something extra spark in midfield. Maybe bring McCrory on for Jack. You know, swap out something, swap the wings over or whatever. The we just weren't getting that creative outlet today so frustrating absolutely it's another game we're going to have to play it's on the 12th so there's going to be a backlog of fixtures I think we play Hibernian is it on Friday night as well so uh, I don't know if that affects that game probably not because that game's on the Friday you know it's just creating a rod for our own back now and the players can't argue about it and we need to be we, we need to be playing better than that. The only can I, as I said, the only positive you can take out of it is we're still in the cup and the next the replay is obviously at Ibrox, which, you know, we have been playing a lot better there than we generally do away this season. So hopefully that works in our favour. Uh, once again the fans are put out of pocket because it's another twenty eight pound they need to spend for that. But you know, that's part and parcel of it. I hope to God we absolutely shaft Aberdeen and tell them to fuck off with their allocation after what they'd done to us today because that stand behind the goal, once again, there was even less fans in that in the, in the, than there was in the, the league game. We just played them in there. So I hope we tell Aberdeen to get to fuck and just, you know, just cram them in the corner and take any fine that's coming our way because it's not good enough. But anyway, as I said, uh, the 8th will be the, the next game against Hibs, another, another major game. You know, they obviously got beat off Celtic yesterday, so we'll, we'll see what happens in that game but that's all that's left to say is thanks for listening and goodbye